Pancit bamai or pancit bisayar is a special noodle dish from Cebu, Visayas. This unique dish combines two types of noodles, pancit canton and sodinghen. The mix of different noodles and ingredients gives it a distinct Just texture a and flavor that is truly Filipino. Pancit canton and sodinghen noodles are essential for making that delicious pancit bamai. Here are a few tips for your market trip. Pancit canton Look for dry Chinese wheat noodles. They are thicker and provide a hearty texture to the dish. So in hand noodles, these are also known as cellophane or glass noodles made from mung bean starch. They are transparent and add a silky texture. Pancit Canton, type, wheat noodles, appearance, thick, opaque, and yellowish in color. Texture, hearty and chewy, providing a substantial bite. Flavor, mild, allowing it to absorb the flavors of the dish well. Common uses often used in stir-fried noodle dishes like pancit canton, which includes a mix of meats, seafood, and vegetables. It's a staple in Filipino celebrations and gatherings. Soaking in type cellophane or glass noodles. Appearance thin, transparent, and silky. Texture, light and slippery, offering a contrasting texture to thicker noodles. Flavor, neutral, making it versatile for absorbing the flavors of the broth or sauce. Common uses, frequently used in soups and stir-fries, such as pancit sodinghen and pancit bamai. It's made from mung bean starch and is known for its ability to soak up the flavors of the dish. Combining these two types of noodles in a dish like pancit bamai creates a delightful mix of textures and flavors that make it a favorite for many Filipinos. Sliced pork belly, cut typically, the pork belly is sliced into thin strips or small cubes. This allows it to cook evenly and blend well with the noodles and other ingredients. Preparation, the pork belly is often sautéed with garlic and onions until it becomes tender and slightly crispy. This process helps to render the fat, adding depth and richness to the dish. Flavor, pork belly has a balanced mix of meat and fat, which contributes to a juicy and flavorful bite. The fat renders down during cooking, creating a delicious base for the noodles and vegetables. Texture, when cooked properly, the pork belly should be tender with a slight crispiness on the edges, providing a delightful contrast to the soft noodles. In pancit bamai, the pork belly is usually cooked alongside other proteins like chicken and shrimp, enhancing the overall flavor profile of the dish. Sliced chicken, cut, the chicken is typically sliced into thin strips or small pieces. Using the breast part is common because it cooks quickly and remains tender. Preparation, the chicken is often sautéed with garlic and onions until it is cooked through and slightly brown. This helps to lock in the flavors and ensures the chicken is juicy. Flavor, chicken breast has a mild flavor that absorbs the seasonings and sauces well, making it a versatile addition to the dish. Texture, when cooked properly, the chicken should be tender and moist, providing a nice contrast to the chewy noodles and crispy vegetables. In pancit bamai, the chicken is usually cooked alongside pork belly, shrimp, and Chinese sausage, creating a rich and savory combination of flavors. Shrimp type. Shrimp are small, swimming crustaceans with long, narrow muscular abdomens and long antennae. They belong to the infrauder Caradeo or Dendrobranchiator. Appearance, they have a semi-transparent body that is flattened from side to side, with a flexible abdomen ending in a fan-like tail. Preparation, for pancit bamai, shrimp are usually peeled and divined before cooking. They are often sautéed with garlic and onions until they turn pink and opaque, which indicates they are cooked through. Flavor. Shrimp have a sweet, delicate flavor that complements the savory and rich flavors of the pork belly and chicken in the dish. Texture. When cooked properly, shrimp should be tender and slightly firm, providing a nice contrast to the noodles and vegetables. In pancit bamai, shrimp are combined with other proteins like pork belly and chicken, enhancing the overall taste and adding a touch of elegance to the dish. Squid. Type. Squid are cephalopods, related to octopuses and cuttlefish. They have elongated, tubular bodies and short, compact heads. 
Appearance, squid have a soft, elongated mantle body with two long tentacles and eight shorter arms, all equipped with suckers. Preparation for pancit bami. Squid is usually cleaned with the head, innards, and beak removed. The body is then sliced into rings or strips. Sometimes, the tentacles are also included for added texture. Flavor, squid has a mild, slightly sweet flavor that pairs well with the other ingredients in the dish. It absorbs the flavors of the seasonings and sauces beautifully. Texture, when cooked properly, squid should be tender and slightly chewy. Overcooking can make it rubbery, so it's important to cook it just until it turns opaque. In pancit bami, squid is typically sautéed with the other proteins like pork belly, chicken, and shrimp, enhancing the overall seafood profile of the dish. Cabbage, type, leafy vegetable, appearance, green or purple leaves, tightly packed into a round head. Flavor, mild and slightly sweet, with a hint of pepperiness. Texture, crisp when raw, but becomes tender and slightly crunchy when cooked. Preparation for pancit bami, cabbage is usually thinly sliced. It is added towards the end of cooking to retain some of its crunch and freshness. Carrots, type, root vegetable, appearance, or inch, though they can also be purple, red, yellow, or white. Flavor, sweet and earthy, texture, crunchy when raw, but becomes tender when cooked. Preparation. Carrots are typically julienne cut into thin strips for pancit bami. They are sautéed with other vegetables to add a vibrant color that is slight sweetness to the dish. These vegetables not only enhance the flavor and texture of pancit bami, but also add a pop of color, making the dish visually appealing. They are cooked just enough to retain their natural crunch, providing a nice contrast to the soft noodles and tender meats. Baguio beans type, green beans or string beans. Appearance, long, slender, and bright green in color. Flavor, mild and slightly sweet, with a fresh, vegetal taste. Texture, crisp and tender when cooked properly, providing a nice crunch to the dish. Preparation, for pancit bami, baguio beans are usually cut into bite-sized pieces. They are added towards the end of cooking to retain their crispness and vibrant color. Baguio beans are named after the city of Baguio in the Philippines, known for its cool climate and abundant vegetable production. They are rich in fiber, beta-carotene, potassium, calcium, and phosphorus, making them a nutritious addition to any meal. In pancit bami, baguio beans complement the other vegetables like cabbage and carrots, adding a fresh and crunchy element to the dish. Ready to create a delicious and authentic Filipino dish? Gather your ingredients and let's make pancit bami. This flavorful noodle dish from Cebu combines the best of pancit canton and sodinghen noodles, along with a medley of proteins like pork belly, chicken, and shrimp. Don't forget the fresh vegetables like cabbage, carrots, and baguio beans to add color and crunch. Follow these simple steps. Prep your ingredients. Slice the pork belly, chicken, and vegetables. Clean and divine the shrimp, and prepare the squid if you're using it. Sot the proteins. Start by sauteing garlic and onions, then add the pork belly, chicken, shrimp, and squid. Cook until everything is tender and flavorful. Cook the noodles, add the pancit canton and sodinghen noodles to the pan, mixing well with the proteins and vegetables. Season and garnish. Season with soy sauce, fish sauce, and a squeeze of calamansi. Garnish with fresh parsley for that final touch. Join the fun and share your pancit bami creation. Tag us in your photos and let us know how your dish turned out. Happy cooking and enjoy the taste of the Philippines. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more delicious recipes and fun adventures. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below and let me know how your pancit bami turned out or you have any other recipes you'd like to see. Share this video with your friends and family who love cooking and exploring new dishes. Until next time, happy cooking and see you in the next video.